Okay, so we're gonna repair this aluminum radiator. Came out of my 43 Willys Jeep with some of this JB Weld high heat epoxy. It says right here for radiators. And we're gonna use some soapy water to find the leak and some gum out carb cleaner to clean the spot. So what I did is I, on my 3D printer, I printed some caps to block off the two entrance and outlet of the water. And then I got a Schrader valve with an eighth inch thread pipe and a quarter inch thread pipe and put it into the drain cock. So I'm gonna pressurize this so that I can find the leak with my soapy water. Okay, so I pressurized the radiator. Now I'm spraying my soapy water. And you can see that all of these tubes seem to be leaking right at the very edge. So I'm going to clean it with my gum out spray. Then I'm gonna dry it and apply the epoxy. Okay, so I'm gonna dry the area with my heat gun. Make sure it's nice and clean and dry. You can still see a little moisture in the very cracks. Okay, so that's perfectly dry. Okay, so I've mixed up my JB Weld high heat epoxy and I've tilted the radiator a little bit. The epoxy has a good flowing consistency. And I'm gonna put it right. Wait, I can't we can't see. I'm gonna put it right on the each. in where the leaks are and run it down the side a little bit kind of let it flow along the side using a little screwdriver I marked each one of these with a little scratch mark so I know which ones to do. Get a good amount going down each side. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna apply a little vacuum. My little vacuum pump doesn't seem to be working very well. And let it suck the glue in a little bit. Leave that vacuum going. A little more. I'm gonna let that sit overnight and then I'll pressure test it again and see if the repair worked. Okay. Okay, I've got the repair done and I pumped it up to 10 pounds and 
Guess what? No leaks. Now I'm gonna put it back on and get it up to heat and see what happens. Thanks for watching.